All right, so boom. A lot of things have happened in 2024, but by far, I don't think there's any situation that has been funnier than this Corey Harris suspended license in Michigan ordeal because more news continues to break by the day. Brother spent two days in jail for showing up to a court proceeding regarding a suspended license while behind the wheel. Then, days later, upon his release, it's broken that it was a clerical error to where the suspension should have been lifted on the license two and a half years ago and then today news broke this brother never even had a license in the state of Michigan let alone a license across the entire country let me make it very clear based upon what the courts looked at he has never had a Michigan license ever and has never had a license in the other 49 states and commonwealths that form up this great union he has never had a license. Got a fuck you. What does that even mean? How? Hold on, bro. How? Somebody lies. Yeah. Now somebody lies. I don't know who, but I'm telling you, somebody's lying. What? Hold on, wait. The people will start to have sympathy for you. What you mean you don't got no license? I need to hear that again. Let me make it very clear. Based upon what the courts looked at, he has never had a Michigan license ever and has never had a license in the other 49 states and commonwealths that form up this great union he has never had a license the person that needed to be blamed is the person that he was staring at in the mirror he didn't do what he should have done the judge came ready to set the record straight with corey harris who has claimed that he thought the suspension on his driver's license was removed two years ago that court and its friend of the court did nothing wrong. His driving privileges were unsuspended in 2022. That required Mr. Harris to do something. He didn't do it. The judge said Harris never paid his clearance fees with the court or the Secretary of State to lift the suspension, but that's not all. He has never had a Michigan license. Ever. We asked Harris yesterday if he ever had a valid driver's license. He claimed he didn't remember. Do you ever recall having one? Having a driver's license. I knew I had a permit. What? 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 He can't even remember. We asked Harris yesterday if he ever had a valid driver's license. He claimed he didn't remember. Do you ever recall having one? Having a driver's license? I knew I had a permit. I, I knew that. A, a driver's permit or? I believe, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I, I, I can't say yes and I can't say no. Is the man retarded? What you talking about you can't recall? It's either one or two things. Either you have a license or you don't. There's no in between. This man pleading the fifth on the stand. I have no recollection of the event in question. Fam, did you acquire a license at any point in your life or have you not? This man got CTE? Was he running routes with Antonio Brown? Perhaps he was catching passes with Brandon Marshall. What's wrong with him? Do you ever recall having one? Having a driver's license? I knew I had a permit. I, I knew that. A, a driver's permit or? I, I believe. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't say yes and I can't say no. Hey, open your wallet. Is there a license there? Open up your phone on behind of it if you carry a case. Is there a license there? Do you ever recall having one? Having a driver's license? I knew I had a permit. What you talking about? I cannot seem to recall. This brother got amnesia. You Pokemon. Amnesia's your move. Last I checked, it boosts the special attack or special defense one way or another. Brother, we figuring out that you happen to be special. What you talking about? You don't know if you got a license or not. That don't even make sense. This is a sick Negro. Then the nuke dropped inside of the courtroom when it confirmed my thought process in my second video when I stated when he got pulled over in October of 2023 and the officer wrote that man the citation gave him the violation and told him he's gonna have to have a date in court and he shows up in court virtually while behind the wheel and acts so shocked then gives the news interview talk about this should have been handled two and a half years ago when i said between the months of october up until late may when he showed up virtually on that zoom meeting he knew his license was suspended they 
brought up audio confirmation from the traffic stop. The Pittsfield Township police officer and prosecutor said during that October traffic stop, Corey Harris knew what was up. At least twice during this traffic stop, he acknowledged to the officer that he did not have a valid license. Quote, unquote, quote, actually, I don't have a valid license. Close quote. The question was, are you a valid driver? Quote, I am not. There was no error by anybody. It was a failure on the part of Mr. Harris to do certain things. Now, I grant you that sometimes that can be a complicated process, but it was certainly not anybody's fault that that didn't happen other than that wasn't paid. Get up there! That nigga is get up there! He admitted it. He admitted it back in October. That means did not have a license. So how are you astonished? If you ain't have a license in October 2023, did absolutely nothing until May 2024. Or I should say, still to this day now, early June, he's done virtually nothing in the process of acquiring a license. How can you act astonished, flabbergasted, befuddled, flummoxed? Sir, you've done nothing. What's the, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome. You stupid. You stupid. People this stupid shouldn't be allowed to live. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Where's my bat? I need somebody to give your noggin a flogging expeditiously. Now one would ask, how the hell do you get violations against your license if you don't even have a license? But what the hell's going on out here? Now that I'm thinking about it, consider if you're young and you have a learner's permit or you're in the midst of trying to get a learner's permit. If you violate a vehicular law, obviously something has to be struck against your record, would it not? For example, if I have a permit and I happen to get a speeding ticket, I know I don't have a license yet, but something would have to go against my record. It can't just be null and void because I don't have no license. That'd be foolish. People would probably mess around and never get a license operate with a learner's permit or maybe with just a regular ID and mess around and never have to see any forms of, you know, consequence for the action. So it makes sense that you could mess around and give somebody some form of suspension. But I guess the terminology should be different because you can't say somebody has a suspended license when they actually don't have a license. But one way or another, this is a sick Negro. Then to make matters worse, homie got a bench warrant from nine years ago Ain't no fucking way. but driving with a suspended license and evidently never took care of the situation then came the unexpected he has a warrant for his arrest call the authorities was taken into custody for what appears to be a nine-year-old bench warrant out of Allen Park. So was I shocked? Absolutely. Did I want my client to walk in and then get escorted to the back? Absolutely not. That was not the plan. Boy, that escalated quickly. Take his ass to jail! You go to jail, you son of a bitch! All right, all right, hold on, man. You go to jail! The shocking thing about it is for a driver more license suspended that he didn't take care of. It should be something that, a lesson for all of us, handle your business. No shit, Sherlock. So let me get this straight. Initially, the courts thought they made an error and something had to be fixed, only to go back and say, hold on, wait a minute. Nah, you actually the one who fucked up. You ain't take care of your outstandings dating nine years back, let alone actually obtaining said license. So you mean to tell me, again, we're circling back to what we originally were saying from the beginning. This had nothing to do with the man dealing with the issues that you've been dealing with with the court. Why would you go on Zoom while behind the wheel, let alone now that the plot has thickened as far as it has gone, Why you are here driving without a license, let alone obtaining said license? Not once in the article did they ever state man's actually went through with the full procedures necessary. Whether that's taking classes, 
whether that's going and uh, you know applying to take a road test or maybe even messing around and completing everything and getting the license and going to the DMV to go pick it up. Mans does not have any documentation of any of this. So we go back to what we've been saying from the beginning and what we said last time. You stupid. You stupid. He truly thought that he had a license. He completely did. He wouldn't have been out there. Because nobody, my client doesn't want to go out here breaking the law. That bitch lying. He's a law-abiding citizen. Dang, listen. Liar! Mr. Harris, do you remember ever going to get a license? And, um, you know, back when 15, 16, 17 years old? <laughs> about when I was at, at that age, I don't know. But do you ever, do you ever recall having one? Having a driver's license. I'm not having a A driver's permit, or? I, I believe, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I can't say yes and I can't say no, because I, 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 I don't re remember too, too much of anything. Right. anything. <laughs> you big dummy! This has been out there for nine years. Well, I did not know about it, Your Honor. I, okay. Counsel, <laughs> there is not a doubt in my mind that that's true. I, I. And that's a wild place, fam. Literally, when the news first broke, damn near everybody was clowning this man. People were making paintings. People was making memes. People like myself were making videos. Then a couple days later, homie must have hired a PR team or maybe just the populace felt bad about ragging on this dude. All of a sudden, now the sympathy starts rolling in. He's a victim of the system and everything of the nature. Then a couple days later, turns out he's just as dumb as we initially had thought. This is the final chapter. I don't think there could be any additional news that comes out that can make me want to revisit this here. Unless, of course, it's now brought to the attention that when he got pulled over, homie must have been on a bike or some shit like that. Not a vehicular, not, not, not some sort of motorbike. I'm talking about human powered. Or maybe he in one of those Flintstone machines. Like he was on some goddamn dune buggy or something of that nature that's on wooden wheels or some shit like that. I don't think there's any new information that could come out that make me want to go and revisit this. All I got to say is to Mr. Corey Harris, you stupid. head. Yes, jump in. And for that, we should grab tomatoes and throw them at you once more. I'm glad that God blessed me with a good sense of humor. In fact, go call in the deacons once again and beat this brother. Deacon Batista. Mr. Harris, anything else that you would like to add? Yes. Anybody out there who is driving around with with a suspended license, no license, no insurance. Get it taken care of, and at the same time, check behind them and make sure y'all don't have to go through this. Get out of jail! Get out of jail! You go to jail, you son of a bitch! All right, all right hold on there. You go to jail! Hold on there! Hold on there. Hold on there. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.